Hello everyone. This is Adish. I'm a grade 10 student from Mumbai. So today's problem is called piece of cake. And as the problem name suggests, the difficulty level of this problem is cake walk. The only prerequisites you need to know to be able to solve this problem is a frequency array. So let's look at the problem statement. In this problem, we are given a string and we need to determine whether the number of occurrences of some character in the string is equal to the sum of the number of occurrences of other characters in the string. So for example, let's say that our string is ACAB. Then if we choose the character to be A, then we realize that the number of occurrences of A is 2 and the number of occurrences of the remaining characters is also 2. So since 2 is equal to 2, we print yes as the output. And for the second sample test case, if we choose the character to be Q, then the number of occurrences of Q is 3, which is equal to the number of occurrences of Z. And that's why we print yes. And in the third sample test case, you can see that if we choose the character to be A or B or C, then we won't meet the condition that the remaining characters are the same number as the number of occurrences of this character. So that's why we print no. So now that you have understood the problem statement, I would encourage you to pause the video now to go to this URL and to try and solve the problem on your own. So now that you tried the problem on your own, you'll realize that you just need to do what the problem is asking you to do. So since we know that the characters consist of lowercase Latin letters, let's just loop through A to Z, character A to Z, and let's just find the number of occurrences of each character. So basically for each character from A to Z, find its number of occurrences. And this can be done easily using a frequency array. So let's just define frequency of some character C to be the number of occurrences of that character. And let's basically uh, loop through the string only once. And let's increment the frequency of the current character. So what we'll essentially do is for all i going from 0 to n minus 1, where n is the length of the string, we'll basically do frequency of the ith character plus plus. So we'll basically increment the frequency of the ith character. And then in the end, we'll just run this loop for all characters from a to z. If the frequency of that character C is greater than or e is equal to the sum of the frequencies of the remaining characters. So that's just N minus F of C. So if frequency of the character C is equal to N minus frequency of the character C, then we basically have a yes. Otherwise, we just check for the remaining characters. So now that you understood the solution and you got a basic idea of what we need to do, you should pause the video now and try to implement it on your own. Then I'll show you the code. So now that you've got a chance to write the code on your own, let's look at my code. So in my code, I do what the problem is asking me to do. I first take in the value of t because the first line contains t. Then I take in for each test case, so while t minus minus, I'll take in the string s, which uh, is a string with only lowercase uh, English letters or Latin letters. And I basically keep n to be the size of the string. I have a frequency array f, which is the frequency of each character. And the trick which I do is, I use s of i minus a in the loop 
to keep all the frequencies or, or, or to keep all the character values in the range 0 to 25. So then I basically increment that character number which is actually converted to a new number in the range 0 to 25. So I increment that by 1 and then I basically check if there is any frequency, if there is any character from 0 to 25 such that the number of occurrences of that character which is given by fi is equal to the number of occurrences of the remaining characters which is given by n minus fi. So if any such character appears, is this true and basically we print yes in that case, otherwise we print no. So another way to write this is just if is c out yes, otherwise c out no and we need to print everything uh, on a new line. So that's why backslash n. And this concludes the code. So as you can see, the time complexity for this code is just n because we are doing a loop of n times and plus 26 because um, we are doing a loop uh, which runs 26 times. So the time complexity is O of n where n is the length of the string. And since the length of the string is up to 50 and there are only 1000 test cases, so 50,000 will easily work in one second and that's why our code should not give any TLE and now let's just submit this code to see that it gets accepted. So as you could see my code got accepted. If you like this video and if you like the solution to this problem don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, now that you have seen me write the code, you should try and write your own code and you should try to submit your code on CodeChef.